Hello guys, back on our YouTube video on Unspoken Draws. And in today's video, we got our paper, and I'm going to be showing you how to draw R2D2. Now this is a small replica by the brand Lego. It's kind of hard to see. But we will be drawing R2D2. So now if you're watching this video, then you know who R2D2 is. So I don't need to show you an example. But I just thought that was necessary. But first, what you and I'm gonna try to do this one upside down. So give me some credit. Um, the first thing you're gonna want to do, rip pencil, is a half a circle at the top of your page. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then just carry that all the way down. And make it end very abruptly and just go straight. Do the same thing on the other side. So now we have this shape. From there, we will add one line right about where the curve ends. So now you have more of a square and a half circle. From there, you will want to draw two little lines in the middle of the bottom. Okay. And out, and out, and together. Like that. And now that will save you a little later. And then from here, this is going to come out again, right here. So we're going to go out and down. And then we're going to go. I gotta look at the character question. And then out again. In and up. Like that. And we're gonna want to do the same thing, the exact same thing on the other side. Now if you have a paper fold tactic where you can get the exact same thing, use that. It'll come in handy. But for me, I'm just gonna eye eyeball it. I'm gonna YOLO it. And then in and then up. So as you see, if I did this 100% professionally, it would look a lot nicer. But just for the sake of this video, this is how I'm going to draw it. So now the colors you're going to need to make this look like R2-D2 is going to be your black Sharpie. Now you don't need to have my exact colors, but if you do want to, you can. We can use number 64 or number 69 in the blue category for workhorse either will work I believe I might use the 69 no, I'll pull up a piece of paper see how I think I'll use the other one actually <laughs> that one's a little dark so we will be using number 64 Indian blue and then we will also be using in, I'm going to be using the workhorse category, but I'm going to use number 10, deep red. And then, pretty much, if you want, you can get a silver if you have one. I'm just going to use a regular pencil and shade in with a pencil. Like this. So these are the colors you'll need to continue. If you're fine just in black and white, then just follow my steps, and then everything will be fine. You don't need a thin sharpie, but I'm going to use a thin sharpie just to outline some stuff. So next, we will probably get our light pencil. It can be, I suggest you have like a .6 pencil. I do not suggest you have a mechanical pencil, but this is just all I have on me at the moment. So now you're going to want to get this right here, a light shade of gray. You want it to be almost like a silver. This R2-D2's head, I believe, is made of metal. It's not made of silver. Which means if we use the color silver, it might look a little wonky donkey schmonky ponky. If you know what I'm saying. So just keep shading that in. If you're new here, welcome. I always enjoy when I'm coloring my artworks and having a nice little conversation with you guys. 
like I said, if you drew this in one of your own artworks, um, feel free to tag me on Instagram at unspokenyt. Also, when I say this, um, if you're changing the colors up, you don't have to make it, you don't have to give me credit. You can just claim it as your own. But if you're directly copying me, I won't be mad if you don't give me credit. But just, it's always nice just to get a little bit of credit. If you're going to post it on Facebook or something, don't bother. But if you're going to post it on Instagram, you know, just give at and spoken YT just a little tag. It's much appreciated every single time. Somebody drew the moonfish from a past video, and I kind of laughed. I'm like, huh. And it looked a lot better than mine. Not going to lie. They're obviously not a beginner artist. Soon enough, all my Copic colors will be in, in my editing software, so these videos will be right side up, and I don't have to record them while I'm drawing upside down, and I can actually spend time on them. So next, I'm going to get my fine lined Sharpie, and we're just going to do one nice little Big square on top. Big old square. Like that. Big square like that. Just make a circle towards the top. Don't make it directly. Right about there. And then draw even a smaller circle inside of that. So now we're just going to start with this. Obviously there is more of that to do. Um, but now here's where, where if you do it too dark, you're going to regret that because now we're going to erase inside this square. You could have told me to leave it out, but what's the fun in that? And like I said, it doesn't have to be completely gone. You can have remnants, just like that. And then we are going to get your Sharpie again. Color and everything except the middle one. I do not suggest using a thick sharpie. I suggest using a fine tipped sharpie. I'm just doing this for convenience of time. And then I'll go back over my thin to go around. Um, next you'll get your blue and you will color them in. Excuse me, Paul, I was recording. That's why I'm drawing a, a chameleon and a pug is because I own both those. If you want to see me draw a cat sometime, too, let me know. I'll definitely do that for you if you are interested in that. There's a dog licking my leg, and it's very nasty. So next, we're just going to do a line of squares. Now, is this going to be an exact R2-D2? No. We're going to do a circle. We're going to do a rectangle. And then we are going to do a couple more squares again. Now, what these are is this one is actually his scope. So you can draw a circle in the middle. Draw some lines leading up to the circle. If you don't think it looks like a uh, sculpt, you can tell people it's an air vent because he has air vents on his character. We're going to erase inside this big square. We are going to get our red. Get the fine tip point. If you don't have these markers, that's fine. Just do one dot. I'm doing kind of details you can't see. But I will give you a close-up. And I also am talking through it. If you want to click off after I just got the main shape, that's also fine. Darn it, I colored that in black. Why did I color it in black? It's actually supposed to be blue, but whatever. It's your R2-D2. You can have accents. You can do things on purpose if you want. Also, color over it. Yeah, that looks better. 
Even if I just color over top of the black with blue. There we go. That actually looks pretty nice. I don't mind the black. And then we will just go over the red one more time to exhilarate it. And then we got our R2D2 head. Next we can follow up with the body. I will be pretty much copying off the character if you don't mind because copying the character is easier. Mm. So from here we can do a little if you want you can add like any sorts of bits and bobs that you want. Um personally I don't care for too many of those, but we're gonna just do a long square like this. I'm pretty sure in the show that they put a DVD in that. I'm pretty sure that's like a DVD holder. I'm gonna do just a second one. So now he does have three of them, but for convenience of the drawing, we can't get too much detail. So we're just gonna do two. If you have a bigger drawing, feel free to add all three. And then we're gonna add one big square below it. Um, we can add two rectangles to the sides. And then you can add really anything else you want. For me, I'm just going to copy off of the Lego figurine. So it's not an exact replica, but it's pretty close. And then this right here. On this side, I will make little... And then just a nice little shape. In your world, your r 2 d can have anything he wants. If you're doing it big enough, you know, you can always do. And then just like that. Now we have that. If you want to stick around and see me add details, you surely can. This one, I'm going to make a black, even though I can't tell if it's blue or not. So just do a circle and branch off of the circle, kind of like what we did in the moonfish drawing. So now as you see, we have one circle. It's not going to render. We have one circle with four lines branching off in the bottom middle square. Now just color that in. In this middle one, we're going to do two circles. Put three lines through these. Get your pencil and shade them in. Not the whole box, just the, the circles. Boom. Get your blue. Your blue will have a lot to play in this part. And color this in like this. Like that. So now that's colored in. And then these top two little slots. Oh, that's my face. We can also color in. So now, as you see, here's our happy little R2D2. Um, and from here, you can add anything you want. I'm going to leave the boxes white. I'm just going to make them uh, thicker. And then you can also see more details on camera. Now there's your R2-D2. Add anything you feel is necessary. For me, I'm going to actually add something. I'm going to add a little... Pipe thing. I don't know in which movie, but I'm pretty sure he had that in one of the movies. Obviously, you can never transmit all of his commercialness over it, but there we go. If you want them to look a little more dirty, you can get your pencil. You can just 
slightly shade over his legs. Just like that. I thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you sticked around for all 15 minutes and colored it in with me, I thank you very much. Now I will bring this up so you can see it better. As you see, I'm going to give you a quick look through if I can get it in the middle of the screen. These are the gray dots in the middle right there. Um, and then this is the one with the red dot and the blue border. And this is his nozzle. Add any details inside you want. I hope I could help you with doing the border shape. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.